it's my honor to be invited as a speaker to talk at this conference and I'm thrilled to share some of my thoughts with you today. So uh, by this time at the conference I think you probably have heard the introduction to decision making and risk analysis quite many times. The question is whether to invest or not. But before answering that, let's have a look at the subsidy. We can see that capacity factor, which is electricity production performance, influenced the situation quite a lot and might drastic, may drastically reduce the net present value. And the model runs the calculation many, many times in order to get the probability distribution. And here is the resulting probability distribution. So for each level of electricity production performance, we match both levels of local content. And then for each resulting level, we also match the capital expenses uh, within or over limit. And in terms of implementation, this is uh, quite an easy to do, but we cannot understand how actually those factors affecting the result inside that distribution. So practically it shows the holistic picture. You can see the full, the same practically distribution, probability distribution of outcomes, but you also see how different factors affect it and interact based on the decomposition that is performed. To be honest, I got quite excited with the results that simulation decomposition was able to provide for the investment case. So, and. Uh, we put all that information in Excel, and by that time I already put the SIMDEC logic in Excel as well, so it's easy to use. And well, here is the inputs, here is the uh, distributions uh, made from those inputs. So that's a trick of calculation uh, in the, in the uh, life cycle emissions. Let's get first estimates for an electric car. I've checked, it's about uh, 20 kilowatt hours per 100 kilometers. Then electricity price. So uh, the car price, here it is, is linked to this value. Then the mileage to this one. And it would automatically change the mileage for the gasoline car. And it can be actually better to get a gasoline car uh, for our uh, assumptions. Uh, for uh, some conditions which we don't know which are they. Well, uh, the car price is clearly here an influential factor and it divides uh, the distribution into two clear different parts, uh, almost vertically. So this is how the Excel can be used for uh, Monte Carlo simulation and uh, simulation decomposition. It is yours, go ahead. When you play with decomposition, uh, try different factors, see how they, you can try them one by one. You can uh, check then uh, how they influence your outcome in the presence of all other uncertainties. They might be not that influential after all. Uh, def de definitely try combinations of different factors. 